Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 76. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Alright, so today uh, we're going to be taking part in the Class R2 Asian Tour. Uh, we are taking a GT500, uh, so this is for like GT500, it's like a Japanese um, racing competition I believe, uh, and we're taking the uh, Nissan, I think it's an R35 Skyline thing, um, yeah it's in R2 class, 846 performance points, starting off with Sakuba, Twin Ring Mategi, Suzuka, Twin Ring, and then Suzuka again, so a good mix of uh, different circuits actually this time, which is pretty cool. All right, here we go. That's a lovely looking car. I do very much like the um, Nissan GTR, the R35 model, especially as a race car. It's it's one of those cars that's just beautiful out of this world. Little bit of contact. I will admit, um, Sukuba is not the ideal circuit for these cars. At all. This is too small of a track. Very nice. Come on. Ooh. Too close. Didn't like that. We got the uh, blue GTR behind us as well. Zanavi. Seems to be like the title sponsor for this car. Uh, as well, so today... Um, actually release date for WRC Generations so I've had my pre-order in for quite some time now it's finally here um, Steam had a bit of a mix-up I'll be honest WRC Generations didn't have a very good release on Steam um, it's been a bit strange But the game has released now. Uh, and it's currently downloading to both my Steam Deck and my PC. It doesn't have a Steam Deck rating yet, unfortunately. Which is uh, a bit of a shame. I think games should start getting like rated before they come out. For the Steam Deck, rather than after they come out. Um, but yeah. There's no rating for Ooh. Jesus generations yet. I got about another hour, hour and twenty minutes to wait before uh, the downloads actually done on my PC. The Steam Deck says it's going to take three hours, so it's quite a big game. It's pushing up to the uh, fifty gigabyte mark, actually. Uh, the total space is 47.1. Which, for comparison, I believe WRC 10, the last one, was 38. WRC 9 was 22. So each generation has had quite a significant um, bump in storage space required.
I'm hoping as well, um, some point next week, I get back into, uh, live streaming while doing this. Um, probably next Monday. Would be quite cool. Looking good. I have a feeling these uh, next three championships are going to be pretty short. go. Two more laps to go. Uh, half a second quicker than our uh, lap five. And we got six and a half second gap. Which is good to know. Come on. Get that around the corner. Very nice. My downloads completely stopped on the Steam Deck. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, shit. What's a Logitech app doing? <laughs> We got 14,000 credits there. We got 11,000 uh, experience points. Uh, we've now got a 50% discount on chassis reinforcement and roll cage upgrades. Uh, so those are for cars. Uh, Acura, Honda, Hyundai, Infiniti, Mitsubishi, Nissan, and Subaru. So pretty much anything Japanese. Probably says it in the name, to be honest. All right, here we go. We're at uh, Twin Ring now. Yeah. Twin Ring, Mategi Circuit. So we've been overtaken by one of the GTRs.
pretty good first lap so far. Oh, come on, come on. I didn't get a very good line through there, so... As we come out of that corner, it's alright, though. It's alright, I suppose. So many different sponsors on this one track. It's a ridiculous amount of sponsors, actually. Normally you see about three or four different ones, maybe five. I think in that corner alone there was like 15. Not bad. Right, a hairpin corner coming up. Very nice. Terrible line again on that corner. I got four attempts at it, so hopefully on attempt number three or four, we'll have a slightly better run through there. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Looks good. Not bad. I'm going to see if we can get a much faster lap time. Three seconds better than the last lap, which is really good. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Completely spun it out of that heavy braking zone there. Shifted down too quick. Went from like third to first. Just read the arse off the engine. And we're now three seconds behind our split time. Crap. Let's see if we can get this corner right, though. Nope, still messed it up. Right on the 70 meter board. I do find it strange that this track has a 70 meter board. What's wrong with 50? Like there's a 50 meter board there.
I miss that split time. Shit. Three point one second. Right, let's see. Can we get a perfect lap? Uh, almost. This is a very good lap time, though. I'll be honest, I'll take it. Result 149.100, that was. Lovely speed. We got 16 grand and 12,000 XP for that. Um, we've got a 50% discount on flywheel upgrades by Toda. Very nice. All right, here we go. Suzuka. Got the Spanish flag and the Korean flag up there. That was not very nice. The uh, blue GTR there just absolutely slammed into the arse of my car. Play nice. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe I should play nice as well. Here we go. Very nice. Good. Got through the S's all right. Catching up big time. We're not going to get him into the hairpin. Or out of it. But maybe into a uh, spoon we can actually catch up. Ooh. It's close. Whew. tail happy there but got around that corner very nicely right so we're looking at two minute and one second per lap but that is from a standing start hopefully this time around we'll be going much quicker maybe looking at a 158 Potentially even a 157. 157 would be quite nice, actually. Not bad.
bloody hell, it might even be quicker than that. I said 57, we're looking at 53. That's impressive, actually. We've got an eight second gap on the car behind as well. Car behind is probably doing a 57 or a 58 a lap. Do do do. Oh my god, it's half twelve already. What the hell? Really, I'm losing track of time at the moment. Bad. Right, final lap. So the last one was a 156, but we weren't actually pushing. I'm going to see if we can push this lap. We are actually going quicker, so that's a bonus. I think we lost all the time. Yeah. We lost an, a second. I was going to say a minute then. Bloody hell. Oh, that would have been a lot of time. Yeah, still 155. That second lap, though. Was it the second or the third? No, it was the second lap. That was killer. That was a proper good lap. Solid run. Uh, we've now got a 40% discount on uh, brakes by AP Race in Japan. Very nice. All right, here we go. I believe this is Mategi again. Yeah. Race number four or five. Good start so far. Blue GCR didn't crash into us again. Okay, we were a little bit aggressive there. Little bit is probably a understatement. <laughs>
not too bad. All right, head pin corners coming up. Okay, took a little bit too much curb there. Still 2.8 seconds faster, but that's because standing start and moving start. There's a good 3, 4, maybe even 5 seconds in it. Or as we found out with uh, Suzuka on the last race, it was about 8 seconds in it. Which was pretty crazy. Though I think that second lap I did a lot better than the first lap. So I think that could be part of part of it as well. Looking good. Dunlop. Not bad. Alright, coming up to the halfway mark. We're 1.8 seconds quicker than our last lap. Let's see if we can do an absolute smasher again. Looking really good there. Very nice. Uh, fluid corners. Flowing. A little bit slow through... Um that S section. Ah, oh, binned it. Binned it. Shit. Looking good. Still faster than our best lap. Fifteen second gap.
That is pretty crazy. Crap. Right, we are on our final lap now. Lost it a little bit towards the rear there, but still got around that very nicely. Saving Ghost, please do not turn off your console. I don't plan on it. I'm still using it. <laughs> Alright. One more race left to go. Alright, so we're here on uh, Suzuka East now. Is it East? No, West. Shit, I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, so we've been overtaken by the blue GTR. Come on, get in! Alright, not bad. Completely ruined that corner. Should be fine catching up. If you do not go for a gap that exists, you are no longer a racing driver. Such a well-known statement. I hate that statement. At the same time, I love it. Because it is such a famous statement when it comes to racing drivers. But all bad drivers will always use that statement as like, you're not a true racing driver if you don't go for a gap. Even if they're blatantly, like, dangerous driving and whatnot, they'll still use that same excuse. Literally one of the worst quotes that could have ever been made.
Not bad. Looking good. Coming up towards Spoon now. Honestly, this section, like going through Spoon and then coming along this back straight, is like one of the most visually stunning sections of any racetrack. Because you get this huge open expanse here at the end. But at the start, it sort of goes into like this foresty area. It's really nice. Right, we are onto the final lap now. A couple more corners left to go. And then that'll be this championship done. We get to move on to the next one. Crap. Completely been that corner. A little bit started going on on my OBS there. Lovely. Charming. And there we go. Cross the line. Save and go. So we got 16,000 credits there. Well, about the next peak. Nearly level 5, actually, on the car. We're looking at 30 grand of bonus credits. Take a bit of March. We'll take that. We're going to be moving on to R1 cars next, which is pretty exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.